So in this module, we're going to talk about corporate social responsibility. And corporate social responsibility is more or less the duty of a corporation to create wealth in some ways um, that avoid harm to others, they protect others, or in some ways they are enhancing societal assets. And it kind of stems from Judeo-Christian values and it has this idea that corporations have some sort of an obligation to society that goes beyond just following the law and maximizing profits. It's the idea of corporate social responsibility. Now we typically think of this as kind of a hot topic um, in contemporary dialogue, but let's be honest. Um, I can think of examples of corporate social responsibility that even go back to the Middle Ages. Have you ever seen a beer stein before? You know, the, um, the, the big German beer mugs with one of those metal lids on it? Do you ever wonder why there was a metal lid on there? It was because tavern keepers in the Middle Ages thought that putting a lid on there would keep out the plague. This is a great example, a great early example of corporate social responsibility. Yes, it did cost money to put a metal lid on a uh, ceramic mug. Yet the idea was that by taking better care of their customers, making sure they didn't get the plague by drinking their beer, then those were customers who would be repeat. They could come back over and over. If the customers were healthy and happy, they were more likely to frequent the pub. Um, so the idea of the corporate social responsibility does have its roots in the stakeholder model. What's good for your stakeholder can also be good for you in the long run. So over the course of this module, we're going to talk about the general theories um, of corporate social responsibility, and then we'll talk about actually how to implement a program of corporate social responsibility within your own firms. So we're looking forward to seeing you then. We're going to have a great time.